Well, hello, and welcome back to Idle Kingdom Defense. So today, 17275, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and what are you going to do? You're going to ring that bell. That said, we're taking B-Team, and the reason we're taking B-Team I will discuss momentarily, and we're headed right into King's Ruin, starting at the 7th Ruin. So the reason we are taking B-Team is because B-Team is my farm team. In your farm team, you want to have as much crowd control as possible. That's why this team is... I mean, excuse me. I misspoke. In B team, you want to have as little crowd control as possible. That's why there's no crowd control heroes on this team. Or the crowd control heroes are like Marion, where they basically one-shot everything when we farm anyways. Granted, Marion is the one exception, but the way her ultimate works is she doesn't prevent... and She doesn't have an issue with her, or with her attack where it messes up the timing of the stage. You compare that to Evan, who freezes things off the stage, or Thor, who thunder slams things off the stage, or Harold, who shocks things off the stage. And by off the stage, I mean outside of the boundaries of the attack zone. So this right here is the attack zone, from this part to this part. Anything past those barriers can't be attacked by the heroes. So if you freeze something, like if you do a skill here with Evan, half of that skill is gonna spill out into the no attack zone. When it's out in the no attack zone, it just means, okay, you have to wait for them to come back. And how long does Evan's freeze last? It lasts a long time. But anyways, that's why we do a low crowd control team for farm. And uh, I do get that question a lot. That's why I try to address it every time. And that's also why we don't have a sixth warrior. A sixth warrior would actually be a crowd control warrior, and we want to not have crowd control. So we don't have a choice. The game has cuffed my hands. I do not have the options that I need. Outside of that, you know, we're just pounding out King's Run. This should be pretty straightforward. Obviously, you know, there are some stages that work better than others. There are stages that work worse than others, but it's pretty standard by now. Nothing too exciting. Again, stages like this where everything piles up on the castle, they're some of the best stages. Stages where stuff gets clumped up all over the place, there's some of the worst stages. So, stage type is important. But you don't have control over stage type. Like, I can't change the stage type even if I wanted to. All I can do is build to take advantage of it. And I do use the frost, uh, tier, the frost skill on my bow. I don't anticipate changing that. It's basically impossible to run a two or more element setup just because of the way that the bow works. Because basically you want to get the plus two skills as high as you can. And so that means for a piece of armor and a weapon, in my case it is my arrow and my piece of armor. I could never change from frost because changing from frost would mean I would lose all the bonuses associated to the set. You know? So, I mean, it is what it is. It's fine. I don't think there'd be a big advantage for having a farm set made out of fire or something like that. Um, the stages that I farm, I believe the archers are pretty uh, effective at still. But that's that. Now, of course, we're just going to pound out these last... We have two hard stages left. Stage 11, stage 13. Wait, is this one... That's right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna flip the script. We are gonna use our buffs on here because this stage actually requires things moving to the castle to stack up. And thirteen and fourteen do not require that, so we're gonna change things a little bit. We're gonna start using the the ten free buffs on stage eleven, making I mean look at Marion just one shotting stuff. Boom, just one shot. Yeah, if Marion did about four times the damage she does now, wow, she'd be amazing. <clears throat> yep, just cleaning out the front lines. The nice thing about this, too, is that other heroes contribute when you get the buff. Alright, so we'll see how 13 and 14 go today. You know what, let's look at the damage meters. Just for that stage. 72% for Marion, 24 for Christian, for a total of roughly 
126, uh, 126 trillion damage. Uh, I do believe that the normal AoE stages are about 90 trillion damage, so you can see how that has about a third more health and how that can be problematic. Problematic is not really the right word, but it just makes it take longer. So now we're gonna we're gonna clean these last ones out with no buffs. I used to do a death skip. I don't do the death skip anymore because just setting the death skip up takes too long. If you want to see the death skip, you'll have to just watch one of my older videos. I don't know when I stopped doing it, unfortunately. You will likely see it make a return when we start pushing. So 13, 14, 15, we should clean these up real quick. <laughs> should be easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> and that's 13. 13 and 14 and are real easy because they line everything up for Marion. When you line everything up for Marion, it really does make her job easier, believe it or not. <laughs> and if you haven't, I have been playing so much. So much Starfield. I really... I'll be honest. I thought Baldur's Gate was the better of the two games. I really did. I don't know. I think Starfield has pulled ahead now. Not 100%. Obviously, I need to continue playing it. But I do think Starfield's pulled ahead. So in case you're watching that, expect more Starfield with Marie and I. Um, and also, we will be going back to Baldur's Gate. I mean, eventually we're going to beat Starfield. It's a question of when. It is a big game, but we will beat Starfield. I have every confidence that we will beat it. And then we'll go back to, um, you know, Baldur's Gate 3. I want to finish up that playthrough with her. We do generally finish our playthroughs, by the way. If you look back, I have done a ton of different playthroughs with her, and every one we have completed. Also, we might do a little bit of Vampire Survivor. I would love to play co-op with you guys, but they don't have online co-op yet. If they ever add online co-op, expect for me to try to put something together. All right, let's take a look here. 62% for Marion, 35% for Christian, 1% for Vincent, and Daniel is the king of 0%. Excuse me. So, that said, as always, once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to say something in the comments. I do always look forward to your questions. And as always, thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.